Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on in order predecessor and in order successor of a node in the binary search tree. It is one of the most important concept while performing deletion operation on a binary search tree and deletion operation on a avian tree. For both of these concepts, we must require in order predecessor and in order successor of a node. Okay. Next, first of all, what is in order predecessor and what is in order successor and some examples on a binary search tree. So, these are the concepts that we are discussed in this video. First one is uh, in order predecessor. In order predecessor of a node is the maximum element in the left subtree of a of that node. Okay. Next, in order successor. In order successor of a node is the minimum element in the right subtree of that node. Okay. So, the main difference between them in order predecessor of a node is the maximum element in the left subtree. Okay, here in order successor of a node is the minimum element in the right subtree. So, for predecessor, we have to consider the left subtree of a node. For successor, we have to consider the right subtree of a node. Okay, for in order predecessor, Maximum element in the left subtree of that node is considered. For in order successor, minimum element in the right subtree of that node is considered. Okay. Now, this is the given tree. Now, we have to find out. So, in order successor of 83. In order successor of 83. So, this is uh, node 83 is there. In order successor. For finding out the in order successor, we have to consider the right subtree of that node. For 83, we have to consider the right subtree of 83 is this one. Okay. In this one, we have to find out the minimum element. So 97, 88, 105. What is the minimum element? So that is 88. So therefore, in order successor of 83 is 88. Okay. Next one. Now consider the in order successor of, in order predecessor of 37. Okay. For finding out the in order predecessor of 37, this is node 37. For finding out the in order predecessor, we have to consider the left subtree of that node. We have to consider the left subtree of node 37. In that one, we have to find out the maximum element. So, 20, 14, 25. In that one, the maximum element is 25. So, 25 is the in order predecessor of 37. So, that is 25. Okay. Now, in order successor of 37. In order successor of 37, for that one, for success, for finding out the in order successor of 37, we have to consider, this is the node 37. Now we have to consider the right subtree of node 37. So this is the right subtree of node 37. In this one, what is the minimum element? So 40, 44, 42. What is the minimum element in this one? So that is 40. So in order successor of 37 is 40. Okay. Next one. In order successor of 57. Here 57 is there. Okay. For 57, in order successor means we have to consider the right subtree. Right subtree of in order to consider the right subtree of 57, 
so this is the right sub 3 of 57 okay in that one what is the minimum element in the right sub 3 the minimum element in the right sub 3 so 62 78 83 97 88 105 what is the minimum element that is 62 so 62 is the in order successor of 57 so therefore this is uh, 62 okay now next one in order predecessor of 97 okay so this is the 97 so this is the 97 so in order predecessor means we have to find out the left sub tree of 97 so the left sub tree of 97 is this one in that one find out the maximum element only one element is there that element is the maximum element so now in order predecessor of 97 is 88 okay so in this way we have to find out the in order predecessor and in order successor for finding out the in order predecessor of a node okay we have to consider the left sub tree of that node in that left sub tree we have to find out the maximum element that maximum element can be considered as in order predecessor of that node okay next one in order successor for finding out the in order successor of a node first we have to find out the right subtree of a node okay once we have to find out the right subtree of a node find out the minimum element in the right subtree so once we have to we are finding the minimum element in the right subtree of that node that node can be considered as the minimum element can be considered as the in order successor of that node okay next one next one another method for finding out the in order predecessor and a successor of a node in a given tree so first for finding out the in order predecessor and in order successor of a node First, we have to construct the in order traversal of a given binary search tree. Okay. So, for this tree, we have to construct the in order traversal. So, in order traversal means that is first visit the left sub tree, next visit the root node, and next visit the right sub tree. So, this is the order for performing in order traversal. Okay. So, first go to left sub tree. So, the in order traversal of the tree is 14, 20, 25, 37, 40, 42, 44, 57, 62, 78, 83, 88, 97, 105. So, this is the in order traversal of the given tree based on this order. L means visit the left sub tree, D means visit the root node and R means visit the right sub tree. According to this order, we have to construct the in order traversal. So this is the in order traversal of a given tree, binary search tree. Next one, what is in order predecessor and what is in order successor? The element which will come before the given element that is called as in order predecessor, the element which will come after the given element, that element can be called as in order successor. Okay. For example, now we can take this example. In order successor of 83. So here 83 is there. Okay. So in order successor of node 83 is, successor means one step forward. One step forward is 88. So in order successor of 83 is, 88 okay so this is the node we have to find out the in order successor so for 83 in order successor means next element next element is 88 so 88 next one uh, in order predecessor of 37 so now consider 37 in order predecessor means one step backward 
One step backward means this is 25. So in order predecessor of 37 is 25. Next, third one. In order successor of 57. So now consider 57. In order successor of 57 is one step forward. So that is 62. So in order successor of 57 is 62. Next one. In order predecessor of 97. So now consider 97. In order predecessor means one step backward. One step backward is that is 88. So in order predecessor of 97 is 88. Next fifth step. In order successor of 37. So here 37 is there. In order successor of 37 means one step forward. One step forward is that is 40. So therefore in order successor of 37 is 40. Next we can take any element. So, for example, 62. 62 is there. In order successor of 62 is 78. In order predecessor of 62 is 57. Next, take 105. In order successor of 105. So, in order successor of 105, there is no element is there. So, that is null. Okay. In order predecessor of 105 is 97. Okay. Next one. Uh, in order predecessor of 57 57 is there in order predecessor of 57 means one step backward that is 44 in order successor of 57 is one step forward that is 62 next one 14 in order predecessor of 14 that is one step backward there is no element is there that is null in order predecessor of 14 is null in order successor of 14 is one step forward that is 20. In order successor of 14 is 20. So in this way we have to calculate the in order successor and the predecessor by constructing the in order traversal for uh, in a, after finding out the in order traversal for a given node we have to find out the in order predecessor go to one step backward in order for in order successor go to one step forward okay this procedure we have to follow for constructing the in order predecessor and in order successor of a node thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please share this video to your friends and classmates if you like this video please subscribe my channel link so develop Srinivasarao. Thank you.